Hello YouTube, it is Damien, it is the Rise of a Nation, it is episode 60, and in today's episode, it is crunch time. I said it was just going to be this one game against AAB, we didn't beat Nords, and because of who won the side bank, Pocklin, which was FC Midland, and because they're not in the top three at the moment, only first and second get a European spot, and Midland gets the third place um, third place spot that the league gets for the Euro 2 and I do believe then the third place team plays seventh place in a playoff to make it into Europe I'm not sure on that all I know is that if you finish first or second you get Europe this season because FC Midland won I do think if Midland do jump into um, third spot that they do then the league gets another spot in the for the cup but don't hold me to that I am not sure all I know is we got AAB now away from home and we did not beat Nors and I thought we would and I think in the form that we are, that we should have. And yet again, it was just late drama. We absolutely pummeled them. Um, they weren't great. They put two chances on target and they scored. We came back from one nil down. We had a goal disallowed. Kenny scored a very nice well-worked goal. I'm going to show you that now. And then literally they had one highlight for the whole second half and bum the jar the club cut that makes a horrific mistake to give Jake Jackson a goal here. Like, he has no thing. First thing is this. Um, with Tony Christian suspended, Bubba hasn't played in a couple of games. Yeah, he's been playing international football. Very well, well, well done to convert. But we haven't seen a defensive mistake like that all year. There we go. So we've had a... Before we tailor it up, right, if we do not finish third, right, we had a goalkeeping mistake where the goalkeeper had the ball in his hands and rolled it to the six-yard box to their striker to cost us two points. That's two points there, right? That highlight there and the next highlight I'm about to show you is another two points down the drain. There we go. And we lost to Bromby in a game we were leading 2-1 in the 80th minute. We conceded two goals late. So that's another what? Two, two four, plus another. That's another seven points. Right now, if we had those points in the bag, we'd finish second no matter what. Great season over. That's the difference. Midgelin. Unreal ball by Sisto last episode. If you're not seeing that ball, the episode is worth just going to see that ball against Sisto. Another two points dropped late doors. And this was another one. So really, we should have had nine more points than what we have in the Champions group. And we don't. And it's only ourselves to blame. And here we are going into the third or last game against AAB. A win, and we probably finish second. A lose or a draw. Loss. Uh, last two games of the season, we have the hardest two games. We've got Copenhagen and Midland, right? We probably don't finish second. Right, a draw and it comes down to the Copenhagen Midland game. I would have to go and throw the kitchen sink at Copenhagen to win, and then see what happens against Midland on the final day. Anyway, good, well worked, short move. Kenny scores. We get excited. Let's go. We bring Neil Jenkins off the bench as an inside forward to come and get into this half space to get into it. At this stage, I moved to that shorter passing thing, working into the box. What a ball! What a finish! And when that happened, we had another highlight from a set piece that was headed over the bar. We hit the bar, all that, not a problem. Now, you might be thinking, Damien, where's where's the poor highlight? Just, just keep rewinding, right? So the highlight started with them on the break, and we did well and got behind the ball. Thank God we've been running a half, right, and tracked down his man, right? Because they look like they were there. They were going to be two against two. Thank God does well, wins the ball back. Bub Najjar has time and space and he's goal side and he's quick. Why is he not just run this up the line? Secondly, right, if he's looking for Zahora, why are you not putting it into this space here? My big mantra when I coach football is if you're going to play a long direct ball, I prefer it to be over hit than under hit. Because if it's under hit, you give it to the opposition facing forward at goal and they can go. If it's over hit, they have to go an extra line deeper, you've got men behind the ball and you can set up shape and then defend, right? Unfortunately, our club captain kind of had a brain fire. The ball's not even close to where it needs to go. Wallace plays one ball. Jackson does well to bring it down. Benitez is here. Great run from Jackson. He slots at first time because he's really good. The uh, English regen that plays here um, has been playing at Nords for a while. Next minute, 2-2. We don't win the game. We had a couple of late chances. Um, Jenkins had a late header, well saved by the keeper in like the 90th minute, 88th minute, I think it was. Um, and we didn't convert from a corner chance in the 90th. And it was just one of those games. It looked like one of those games where FM had just said, yep, we know you're playing well. Even if they scored the first, we had multiple chances with Zahora and he didn't score. Um, it was just one of those games where a football manager would go, yep, we know the team below you have won. You're playing on the last game of the season, the last game of the match day, sorry. And we know if you don't win this game, it's going to become close. So we're not going to let you win. It was one of those games where FM just said, no, nah, you're not allowed. It just means this game against AAB is so massive as well. And yeah... It is really going to be really interesting. I haven't even looked at the cricket pool. I'm going to watch it in bed. Um, but I'm guessing if Rashing's the king, that's a good thing. Yepi, by the way, is suspended for this. Thank God he's going to go in the box. The box is really good in here. Unfortunately, we just don't have really anyone to bring in. Hukic is going to make the bench. He hasn't made a bench in a long while. Actually, it's going to be Johansson. 
Um, but Neil Jenkins is going to come in as a shadow striker on attack in this role. He, he's he been in good form. He's come in and done things. He's got assists and goals, and he's really coming to his own. He's been developing really well. I'm going to bring him in here, and I'm going to bring him into the shadow striker role. I'm just going to say, hey, Jenkins, it's your time, mate. Is ever a time for you to go out there and do something for us? Let's see what we can do. Anyhow, it is going to be Robert. It is going to be Robert, Marquez, Fernandez, and Armstrong, Kenny, and thank God, back of line, Bum the Jar, Jenkins, Dolchek, and Zahora. Big Jossie Jenkins, the, the Australian, is going in the hole to cause havoc. What a game to be missing Yeppi Hansen. All I will say, it means that Yeppi shouldn't get suspended for the last two games of the season, and that's crunch time too. This is this is it, boys. This is it. This is the moment. Win this game here, and we're home and hoes. Draw this game here. It's going to come down the final two days of the season. Lose this game here, and I don't think we do it, and we just miss it out yet again. Ask the assistant. Get into the press. Yes. Right? But tactically, Jenkins, shadow striker from the off. Get in that hole and run at people, boy. You know what you want to do. I know you're good enough to do it. Go out there. Do your job. He is so good. He's quick. He's big. He's strong, and he can head off. Zahora, I need you right now. Dolchek, one time. Big game. You're a big game player. This is it. Think we're, oh, SAB should qualify for the Euro 2 because your goal is so superior. Well, no, because we lose the last two games of the season and uh, we lose this game here to AAB. They get 11 points of us and we don't. Your confidence of going this match, being fifth on the table, I don't have given it any consideration, to be fair. AAB have been in decent run of form. Lucas Anderson, great player. Prikwa, Sowa knows how to play a great ball. Rini in goals is a better keeper than Ryan Hansen was when we played him last time. Um, I think that's correct. We've drawn our last two. I've put it in the start of the YouTube episode. We should have nine more points, boys. We should be on fifth, on 61 points and just be all over. Instead, we only have ourselves to blame that we're in this position with three games to go, and it's not just that we play AAB. We've got Copenhagen next, who have won the league in a canter, and then Midgeland on the final day, and they could be fighting for second at the same time. We need to go out here, and we need to win this game of football, but we also cannot afford to lose this game of football as well. A draw just means that we know if we beat Midgeland, if we beat Copenhagen or Midgeland, we should be safe at home. Anyway, 65% of the ball, we've started really well, but it's a highlight here for Hugo Malo, and here we go. Ferreira, ball in the Mallow, ball in back stick. Got to win it, Robertson does. Bum the jar, got to get there first. Come on, burn him. Here we go. Got to run in a straight line like he should have done last at last game against Nords, and he does. Still going. Numbers running. Jenkins running front stick. Surely he finds the Australian in the end. That's such a poor ball. And Rin now with a chance to go. He goes long. Fernandez wins it. Oh, my God, I forgot to bring Tony Christensen back in. What am I doing, Damien? Dolchek, still going. Still going, Dolchek. Come on, son. Ball in, decent. Bum the jar doesn't win it. I forgot about Tony Christensen. Damien. Kenny. Ball. Zahora. Keeper came and missed it. Is he onside? It's 1 0. Zahora scored. Move to positive. Bang. There we go. I've just remembered mid highlight. I forgot about Tony freaking Christensen. Chat. You better remind me we are live. Tony Christensen next game. Best centre back in the league. So Hora goes 1-0, bang. But uh, Fernandez, ever a time to go clutch. This is it. He looked like he could have been slightly off. Kenny loves this little dink ball, by the way. Oh, it is dead level. Dead level. Keeper thought he could have got there and never did. And now it's a free kick down the other end. Lucas Anderson. Good ball in. Instead, he's actually gone short. Ball back to Anderson. Numbers queuing. Well worked move. Good ball back stick. Moller blocked. Falls back to him. Of course it does. Of course it falls back to him. When is it never a fucking jammy highlight against me in a big game? Can we just fucking get clean gameplay? Please. I've had enough of fucking teams doing this. Prefer to see what happened against Midland with a great ball in or whatever. But how many times throughout this promotion league this season in this fucking stream that we've had highlights where it's been blocked and full back, tackle full back, fucking whatever. Fuck me. Not the time. Done nothing the whole fucking game. And 40% of the fucking ball. One shot on target. Yep, of course. 1-1. One, one, 36 minutes played. Of course it happens. Every time. Without fail, football manager. Every goddamn time. A day score from a set piece. Ball in. Kenny heads away. But only as far as Lucas Hansen. Head it fucking out. Ball in. Yapla over the bar.
Half time, one all. Massive game. I'm going to go with the side of keep morale high. I sometimes blast them in the situation. I'm going to go, I'm happy because we have played a good half. But they are really coming into it. I'm about to make a change. But it's a highlight. If they hit us on the break, I'll be livid. Good ball in. Jenkins is big. The Aussie heads. Oh, no, Zahora didn't get there. And now they are on the break. And they don't, they've got numbers left and right. Need a tackle here. Need a tackle here. Thank God was done well, but he didn't win the ball. Does well there. Well done. Thank God. Thank God for him. Marquez. Thank God again. Highlight not over here. That is not a ball. Where are you putting it to? What is with us fucking in this little pocket and not fucking hitting a decent ball? And they are now on the... Oh, ran, oh, this is this is them scoring, isn't it? That's a good ball in. Yapla heads down. So, ah, uh, he's hit the bar. Oh, my God. Make the change I want to make. We are losing control of this football game. Big time. Shorter. Bit more. Off the pass of space. Working into the box. Yes. Confirm that change. Done. Get it out of play. We need to get on this ball. It's another... AAB going to win this game. It, it, it's AAB's game. Everything seems to be falling to him. Zahora, get on your bike. You're going to get there. Jenkins, you're quick. That is poor from Zahora. Poor from him. Good ball. Finley, I need you one time, man. Nah, never. Never. Effort straight at Robert. We're, we're losing control of this game. We're not seeing a midfielder do anything, really. No one's taking this game by the scruff of the neck. Nobody is. Dolchek's had a shocker. It's a free kick, and I don't have Yepi on the park. He normally takes the free kicks. Thank God steps up. Hits it. Off the post. It doesn't fall to us. Oh, we're a risker away. What an important goal it would have been. Another set piece. Thank God again. Chips it back stick. Cleared away. Can we get on it, please, Armstrong? One time I need a good ball from you. It does. Bubba, not known for his crossing ability. Back to Kenny. Knows how to hit him. Still with Kenny. Still with Bubba. I want it in the box. Does. Bubba the jar heads. Oh, into the bar. And again and out. Oh, it's one of these games. It ebbs and flows this one. Dolchek has had a shocker. And here we go again. Armstrong throws. Dolchek now. Loses out. Wins it back. Kenny now. Finley Armstrong. Please whip it. Don't do your standard step on the ball. He does. Zahora straight at the keeper. Oh, what a chance, man. And the highlight's not over. They've gone long. Thank God wins it. Jenkins now. Ball in above the jaw is on. Jenkins beats his man. Still Jenkins. Neil Jenkins. Oh, what a save. What a moment. Oh, Neil, what a chance. Roberts, bum the jar. Roberts still there. Bum the jar tries to beat him around the outside. Another corner. What a game. First 15, 20 minutes of the half was all them. And now it's all us. Bum the jar short. Jenkins hit it. It doesn't. Bum the jar on the reverse. Back to Jenkins. Straight at the keeper. It's happening. And now it's them down the other end. I cannot take this. My heart. Oh my God. What a game. End to end. Don't you dare. Schaffer. He's got numbers top of the box. He goes himself wide. 75 minutes played. I want to really move Jenkins out wide. But I don't really have anyone that can go in the hole. And the shoe's injured. Because I would have brought him in. Actually, this is going to sound strange, but this is the first time I've done this. Inside forward on attack, bum the jar into the hole, get in Tristian Doe. Tristian Doe is not overly quick, but he's experienced. And he can whip a ball. I just want Jenkins to get inside. Don't want to really bring Young Hansen into this game either. I could bring Suleiman in. I could actually... That's what we do. Do that, do that, do that. Not a problem. Thank God into the hole. Do off. I just remembered your hands has come back from injury. Get your hands into the box to box roll. Move these two around. Kenny box the box. Your hands and ball winning. Change. Thank God in the hole. Jenkins out wide. Back stick cross one time. Roberts looks dead. Oh my God. I broke a core off by accident. Oh no. It's all right. Whatever happens, happens here. Time's ticking. Is there going to be a highlight? What a time for a raid as well from Martin. Oh my God, last minute drama. If there's ever a time of a raid to score and what would probably seal first team football for European football, Doe from the free kick. Hits it, he's in the post. Oh. Oh, he's hit the 
points. Sorry, Raiders, that is massive. Oh. Oh, Bossy, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you for the follow, boys. Oh, you've come in the middle at the, in the middle of a YouTube video as well. Oh my God. It's not thank God, it's oh my God, because that was, oh, I need a what? What a half of football. In the end, how's that half of football finish with no goal? AAB first 15 minutes of the half, pummeled us, corner after corner, save after save. They hit the bar, they hit the post. We then, after that, we changed the system because we lacked control and it worked. We went out there. We played football. Jenkins should have scored. Massive save by their keeper twice. We hit the post. We hit the bar. And then Doe nearly won it right at the death. I need to see that last little bit of the highlight, please. We'll do that in a sec. I need to see that free kick. Doe nearly was an instant hero at 33 years of age. And so, it, look, a draw just means that we're still three points ahead of AAB with a better goal difference, but we have Copenhagen and Midgelin as our lasting games of the season. And Copenhagen won the league in a canter. Oh, my days. Poor. Three times we hit the woodwork. And saying that, they hit the woodwork twice themselves. We deserve to win. I'm going to say it. We're still second. We have two games to go. That's the important thing. Not losing today was massive. But, oh, God, a late winner there. If Doe nails the free kick, would have been huge. Draw City at the moment. Yeah, that's another two games that we had. Oh, my God. Thank God got man in the match. Well done. Look at that. Two games to go. Nords, we absolutely beat him, got FM'd. Midland, we absolutely pumped them. What a ball at the end by Sisto to get a draw. And against AAB, that could have gone anyway. I have to watch the free kick again, please. Is it Champions League or second Europa? I think it's like second or Europa or whatever it is. I don't care. All I know is that we lost in the first round of the cup. We lost um, in the first round of qualifying because we had no one. And now here. I need to see that free kick again from Doe. Where is it? I need to see this from behind the goal on as slow as you got. How close was he? Tristan Doe. Not known for this either. No Yeppy Hansen. He was, he's out, suspended. A normal free kick taker. But he's lined this up and hit this perfect. I thought it was in. As soon as it beat everybody, I thought this is in. Oh, it's so close. Half an inch to the right on screen. And that has fallen inside of post and in. Oh my days. Alright YouTube, I'll see you in a second for the game against Copenhagen who won the league in a canter. Just to let you know, yet again, 60 points won the league last year. The year before that, 58. They're already on 69 with two games to go. It is going to be difficult. AAB, because Midland won the cup, AAB need to beat us to get European football. They're last year's champions. Here we are, little old SFB, having a pretty poor year, somehow still second, and somehow have a chance with two games ago to still make European football. Welcome back, YouTube. It is now time to see if we finish second here or it comes down to the final day. If we do win today, no matter what happens, we obviously get the um, get the job done. We also, if we just match what AAB do today, we get it done as well. You know, if we draw and they draw, they're not going to overturn the goal difference, you don't think. So we're going to win that, great. Um, and also, if we if they lose but we lose, um, we shouldn't overturn the goal difference. If they lose and we draw, we, we do it anyway. All right? Anyhow, we deserve to be second. We have thrown away enough points in this division to be second. But Copenhagen are unreal, and we know exactly what we're going to do. And all the games are at the same time, which is really smart. I want to scout that game, please. Please. There we go. I want to know what is going on at that game there every moment. Bromby, I don't expect to do anything really against them, but you just never know. Anyway, in terms of the team, unchanged. We did go defensive against them, and yeah, we did go into the 4 2 3 1 and really do well. Unchanged. We have made changes, sorry. Um, but um, I just feel like this is a bit of a free hit. You know, we can go out here, play aggressive and get a result. Perfect. If it doesn't, then yeah. Um, devastated to miss out on New Zealand squad. Yeah, Robert's got called up to the initial squad and then got cut for the World Cup squad. I think that's about fair, to be fair. I don't think he's been overly great over the last few years to make the World Cup squad. 
Um, by the way, in terms of that, um, I'm, but we'll give. I'm giving. It's Rafa Benitez in charge. I'm going to give him the chance in the 26 well, 2026 World Cup to do as good as he can, um, and then I'm going to look to take over if I can. Anyway, in terms of the team, though, Tony Christensen come back in. I forgot about that. That was a big boo boo on my behalf, but there he is. So we got Robert in goals. Robert's at right back. Marcus, Tony, Armstrong, Kenny, and Yepi in the middle of the park. Bum the jar. Frank Gore goes back into the hole. Dolchek goes and Zahora up top. I feel like that the second half against Copenhagen, we went at it and were unreal. This could go either way. We could either play start this system, they go 3 0 up at game over very quick, or we make a game of it and we show them that we're SFB and we deserve European football next season. Give me a score prediction in the chat. Boys, this is it. Hold on to your knickers, as they would say in um they would say in Oceans Eleven, as Bashu would blow up um the uh the um what's it called? Um would use the pinch. And, uh, you know, black out the whole of Las Vegas before they start the whole heist there with Ocean's Eleven. It would say, hold on to your knickers. I'm telling you right now, hold on to your knickers because it's about to be a game and a half. And away we go. Um, don't like it. I'm desperate for the end. Um, I know how good my players can be. That's all I know. Three draws in a row. One win and all that. And we would be done and dusted. I, 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 it's, it's about 11 to 13 points. Burger eggs, I mean, 4-3 in a thriller. Copenhagen, by the way, lost the last two games before winning the last one that they played, but who knows? Bossy reckons 2-0. I'll take that and run. Against Copenhagen, it's just going to go either which way. The teams walk out. It's us in the white. It's them in the red. All I can tell you is that if we play well, you just never know. We need to see what happens to the other 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 side of things on the other coin there at Bromby as well. Anyway, thank God on the ball. Early highlight, Finley. Not known for his crossing ability. Good ball in Zahora. Bum the jar blocked. Of course it was. Yep, he hits it. Thank God nearly deflected it in. It's still near nil three minutes play, but a promising start from the boys. And that's all that matters. Of course that effort is blocked, isn't it? Damien's injured. That is massive. Best striker in the league. Goes down. Perfect. Roberts throwing, that's poor, but only as far as Yepi. He loves his box to box roll. Good ball in the thank God. Zahora can't turn. Dolchek, ball in. Oh my God, thank God. How have you missed? How have you missed there? Zuperman11, thank you for the follow. He missed from inside six yards. What a save from the keeper. And wow. Tony Christian heads down. Dolchek now. Yepi Hansen, bum the jar. Still good ball. Dolchek! How important is that one, boys? How important is that one? Hi, that is huge, boys. Hey, Eleanor, how are you? Oh, yeah, I'm better in maybe five minutes, or I could be ready to neck myself in five minutes. It really does depend. Anyway, double check, bang, 1 0. Here we go, boys. It's on for young and old. Lingeby, Roberts, good tackle, falls back to him. Martin, Alex Martin from Arsenal. Um, from Arsenal, from Nottingham Forest. I think he moved to Arsenal in this save. Um, and now he's there on loan. Or Spurs, one of the two. Anyway, Zahora, mistake at the back. Zahora, what a moment. What a time! Here we go. Wow. I love the, I love the little bit of the play on words, by the way, in chat, um, Zupperman. That's really good. They have been the best team in the league by a mile. And two and 30 minutes in, we have slotted two past them. And a game that we know if we win, we make European football. They are yet to do anything. Darmian got injured as well. I'm going to actually move us to positive. I know that might be, you know, people might be going, but you're tuning up, why change? Positive just doesn't allow, allows us to dominate the game that little bit more. Anyway, Helino, good ball. Galwad, still to Helino. Good ball in the corner up. Finds Minoz on the overlap. Finley get across, please. Doesn't do. Conrop gets in the box. Numbers in there. Martin blocked. Good block. Good block by Marquez. He's been a great signing, the man from Wolves. And that should be Robert. How have you not come and claimed it? That should usually be the highlight, too. Onside. Tony's misread it. And Robert just come and stopped and went down. Like me in the chat, I've been saying, in the big games, Robert goes missing. And then if this game got the 2-2, Robert turned back into the best goalkeeper in Denmark and make save after save after save. Wow. And they're good enough to bloody go out and score two goals in two minutes and turn this game on its head. Tony Christensen, Armstrong. 
Dolchek, here we go. Two goals in two minutes, isn't it? They're a good side. Oh, Kenny, well won. Zahora, make the run. Bum the jars with you. Good ball. Cut it, Bubs. Steady reels around. Now he cuts it. Straight into the keeper's hands. This is going to be them with a long ball and a highlight and a goal, isn't it? It's a long ball. Alex Martin off the bench has been amazing. Lynch B. Still going. Don't you dare. He's so good. Robert, what a save. See what I mean? Just in mo He has moments of madness and then he does that. Moments of madness and then he does that. It just sums him up in a nutshell. When he wants, best keeper in the league. And when he wants to, just something stupid. 2-1 up. Perfect. It's great. A draw is a good result too. But at the moment, 2-1 up and there we are. Thank God has suffered a gashed upper leg. Toughen it out. Get the half time, mate. Time ticks away. Three minutes out of time. And that's a highlight. I don't like that. Would have rather get the half time. Unless we, of course, take the highlight too. Anyway, Armstrong, don't you dare lose it here. Tony Christensen, back to the keeper if we have to. Go all the way back to Robert, thanks. Put up. We knew that was coming. Robert, one time. There's going to be people in the chat saying, why did you move from balanced to positive? We've done that all year. Every time we've stayed balanced in the game that we've been 2-0 up in, it's been 3-2 by the end of half time or 2-2. <sighs> You're getting squeezed. Can you not see that you're getting squeezed? Just pop it into the space then. Why are you trying to play through the press? If you're being squeezed and you don't have a numerical advantage, fucking play your keeper or fucking put it into the space. Especially right on half time. Oh, stupid. Stupid. Fuck me. This is stupidity. Do you not want European football, you mugs? Alex fucking Martin has come on from Nottingham Forest, a man that we had at MR Forest save, and has gone ballistic. He's actually at West Ham, not Spurs or Arsenal that I fought. Highlight here, Marquez, Kenny. I might move us a little bit more shorter on the ball as well. Bum the jar, what a run. What a moment. Great save. Got to do it. Do it like we have to. A draw would be enough. But we were 2 new up. Yepi, bum the jar. Ball in. Back to Yepi. Big moment. Oh my god, where did you put the ball to? In the end, Yepi didn't even fire across the six-yard box that we usually do. 4-3 on the cards, by the way. That was a big prediction by Berger. Even they know. All right, get him on. Jenkins, it's time for you to be a hero. I'm going to play for the win until the 85th, 86th minute. Then I'll set up shop. Yepi, you know how to whip in a good ball. Back stick. Doesn't find anyone. And it's Alex Martin again. Someone bring him down. Bring him down right now. Nope. All right, Robert, I need you. What a run. Robert, good boy. See what I mean? As soon as it's 2-2, two -two, he turns back into taking... He goes back into being the best keeper in Denmark. It always does it. Every time. Good header away as well. Should be the highlight, hopefully. It's not. Bang. Don't you dare put one across the box. He does. Martin shouldn't win that. Well done, Tony. Dolchek bumps it. Highlight, football manager. That's the end of it. Thank you. Kenny's had a shocker. Don't want to really make a change here. I'm leaving the changes. Apart from that one, I'm going to get Roberts off. He's a bit legless. I'm leaving the changes late. A draw would be enough. But at the same stage, time is ticking here. Tick away. Oh, it's a highlight. I should have went defensive. Should have went defensive. Should have went defensive. Should have went defensive. Kenny, come on. Be our highlight. Ball. Bub in the jar. Still going. Beat your man. Drop the shoulder. Keep going, my boy. Get into the box. Whip it across. Does. Zahora. Game over. Come on. We're European football. Come on. Frick me life. Why does it have to be that difficult, football manager? Why do you have to put me under that so much stress? Two new up inside 15 minutes. Have to score a 93rd minute winner to get European football. That should be all she wrote. Zahor has done it. Oh, breathe. Yeah, of course he's onside. How is he not? Full time, what a result, wow.
We got there, boys. We got there. We got there mercifully. Wow. Huh. That's a massive win, boys. Oh, my days. GG's. Yeah, get your GG's in the chat. Woo-wee. That was a close one thing. And I'm going to say it again. We've dropped 11 to 13 points this season easily in this in this championship race. We should have been the second best team in the division by a mile. That's why I stayed positive in the end. But if they scored on the break, it would have been livid. In the end, AAB actually lost to Bromby. Wow. So it didn't even matter. We never got a highlight update from them. Or nothing, did we? Ever. Well done, Zahora. Good boy. When the moment came in... He went clutch, the big fella. He's been a little bit hit and miss this year. He's had a bit of an injury. But there we go. That is massive. You were superb, mate. You were superb. That is huge. What was the result on the fight on the day anyway? Probably won one nil. I, I wish we got that. I would have been like, whatever then. If they won nil up, then I would have taken all the pressure off. In the end, I'm glad we won it. We deserve to won that game. Really did deserve it. It kind of shows that we're in a very good spot here. And we are playing well. And we are qualified for Euro 2 football next season. I think if we go to the rules here in the championship stage, we get to the second qualifying round, which is exactly where I was last year. But we should be seeded for that now. And look, we are going to get through that tie, I swear to God. Anyway, we're guaranteed 1.28 million as well for our troubles as well in the season. So that's going to bring us back to above 8 mil, which is the most we've ever had in the club. Next episode, we're going to give you the FC Midland game and the end of season review and really have a chat about where the club is heading in terms of what positions we need, the standard usual, the bit of the stats and everything from what has been in terms of our season in the league, our best ever season. Can I also just add that if we were to win on the final day, we would have the points enough to have been champions, right? Of last season, oh no, not last season, the season before, and not the year before that. Wow, that was maybe just an outlier year that Copenhagen won the league at 58. Fair enough, Copenhagen got 70 points as well. They've had a really good year. But yeah, we would have been in and around the mark a lot more seasons if we uh, won on the final day here. But yeah, there we go. Wow, European football, great, love it. I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.